First update. The first update. Waiting for update 1. Do this before the update. Arcane Odyssey update videos be like... <laughs> It seems like nowadays every Arcane Odyssey content creator's second or third video is either on the Arcane Odyssey Trello or the first upcoming update, because after spending a thousand years meditating trying to find something to make a video on, the only other ideas they can come up with is either PvP videos or slander videos that use the exact same meme template. But the first upcoming update of Arcane 1 is actually finally being released sometime over this weekend. We first of all have the highly anticipated Easter event that everyone seems to be preparing for by creating endless amounts of max level slots and then completing the event on all of them to obtain endless copies of the reward items. Aside from the current game's badge on the Easter event and the teaser image shown here, we don't really know much apart from the fact that we have to collect 20 eggs in total using clothes from each one to find the location of the next. Once you've done that, you'll be given a fancy completion badge that nobody really cares about and an Easter Valkyrie helm which is something that everyone actually does care about. The next thing is shark hunting attachments, which is something that I don't ever really recall remembering seeing from the Arcane Odyssey Trello, so either my tie jeans are kicking in and I cannot see or it's something that Vtex forgot to add there. But this is a really cool idea, honestly, because right now there is no reasonable way to fight sharks as White Eyes just one-shots you and camps under your water destroying your ship from above. I mean, from below. <laughs> what? What? The only real way to attack sharks right now is by either waiting for them to jump out of the water, which may not even happen, or jump right into your coffin in the sea and attacking the shark from there. But this doesn't really work if you're a heat-based mage, because can you imagine forgetting that fire doesn't actually burn under the sea? From this screenshot here, it looks like one of the shark attachment weapons we'll be getting is a harpoon, but I hope we get more than that because I'd really love to f like fire an intercontinental ballistic missile at White Eyes to get revenge on all the times he destroyed my catch with 10,000 galleons worth of cargo. We also have the underwaterness being added in this update, and underwater structures will be randomly spawned that contains lots of precious loot to colonise, but there is a slight problem. On your way down, you will encounter jellyfish and other dangerous plants, as well as the possibility of facing White Eyes head on so good luck with that. I hope the loot will be something other than bronze sealed chests because those are way too easy to get just by annihilating pirates and stealing their life fortunes. So hopefully the structures contain maybe a new type of chest or just a crap ton of gold and silver chests because I honestly prefer those over bronze ones as the bronze ones really don't have a lot of stuff that will give you aside from the 10,000 exotic ship sails of the strangest colours that you will never ever even use. How you'd find these structures, however, is by finding strange waves and circling a small area of the water above. This will let you know that there is treasure below, or maybe it could be a trap for something a lot more sinister. Aside from this, there is going to be a lot of balance changes which will hopefully include the massive nerfs that Metal Mages will receive. And not to mention there is going to be optimization and bug fixes, so hopefully I'll be able to run Arcane Odyssey without my computer exploding. But yeah, that pretty much covers the major parts of the new update. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of minor changes and bug fixes and little things that Vtex will add, but there isn't really too much point on explaining every single one of those here. So that pretty much sums up this very short video. If you found it helpful, then leave a like and comment down below what you think. And if you want to see more of the best Arcane Odyssey content on YouTube, then consider subscribing with the notifications on. Also, if you'd like, you could also join my Discord server as we're a super cool and chill and welcoming community that does Arcane Odyssey giveaways quite often. So yeah, that's it for today. This has been Aimsail, and I'll see you all later.